one. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have four, five, six, seven, and eight, right? Now, there's a couple things I want you guys to notice. First of all, the difference is, I'm noticing that the difference between each one of these terms is what? One, right? So really, between each and every term, all they're really doing is start is just moving, going by one. So what I could do is let's you know let's think of let's think of a number here. Could I multiply four times one? Would that produce me four? Yeah, that would work, right? But what if I did this for the next one? Does four times two give me five? No. So guess what? Multiplying is not going to work. Does that make sense? You can't say the formula is 4 times n. That's not going to work. It works for the first one, but it doesn't work for the second one. Does everybody agree? So maybe let's look at adding and subtracting. Um, let's look at adding first, then we'll go to subtracting. What could I add to give me 4 if I started at n? And let's, what, could I add, what would be a number I could add to n? Huh? You could say n plus 3. Okay. So if n is 1 plus 3, does that give me 4? Yes. What about number 2? And that gives me 5. So the formula is going to be n plus 3. All right. I'm going to tell you guys, this is the difficult part. It is going to take some practice for you. All right. But the best thing I can do.